today's question of the day is a bit difficult because the vocab is hard. But even, but even if we don't know all the words, our knowledge of prefixes, root suffixes might actually help us to answer this one. Uh, so let's go ahead and give it a try. The professor asked the students to make sure they read the entire novel, both the 12 regular chapters and the extensive blank materials that the author included at the beginning of the book. So the, author, the, the professor asked them to read the whole book, not only the, the regular chapters, but also the extensive something materials included at the beginning. So it's likely having to do with something at the beginning, because um, that's really the only clue they gave us in the sentence. So let's go ahead and look at the choices to see what we get. Proleptic. Well, proleptic uh, means treating something as if it had already happened, Tre treating a future event as if it had already occurred. That has really nothing to do with books in this case, even though it is in some sense having to do with beginning and later and future, yet not relevant for this example. Redacted, to redact something is to edit it or to censor it in certain circumstances. Um, not quite right here. They're not redacted materials. Prefatory, yes, we'll come back to this in a second. Orthographic, this is having to do with spelling, nope. Conjunctive, joining together and combined. Now this may in some sense fit. You might think it's conjunctive materials. They're materials that are connected to the later chapters in the book, but not quite as good as prefatory. Because if you look at prefatory, if you don't know what it means, look at the first few words here, prefa. Where have you maybe have seen that before, maybe in the word preface. And the preface of a book is that introductory material at the beginning of a book. So prefatory material is going to be material as part of an introduction or a preface, which is why C is going to be the answer here. So you can see by using our knowledge, if not of roots, suffixes, and prefixes, at least of what this word looks like and other words it might be related to, we can at least reason out why C might be the answer.